This is Garrett Fry, the instructor of the Color Workflow for VFX Artist course. To help you in your decision to take the course, I wanted to show you a quick sample from the slide presentation for this module that I think you'll enjoy. So here it is. Let's talk about how Jutter works. For this example, I'm using a 60 hertz display to show 24 frames per second. So I have the source video here at 24 frames a second, and I have four of these frames. Now I need to figure out how to fit these four frames into 10 frames. And as you can see, 24 frames a second is not gonna go equally into 60 hertz. So we're gonna take this first frame A and we're gonna drop it down into the two first frames. Then we're gonna take frame B and drop it down into the next three frames. We're gonna take frame C, drop it into the next two, and then frame D, we're gonna drop it into the next three. This process is also called three, two, pull down because you can see the alternating two, three, two, three pattern. And that goes on for every four 24 frames a second for every 10 60 hertz a second. Last time we were using 3-2 pull down, we were actually interlacing frames, like between A and B, this frame here would be interlaced. So why aren't we using interlaced frames? And that's because this television will only display progressive images. So either the image is coming in as an interlaced image and the TV on the fly is filtering out and de-interlacing the image and then using this 3-2 pull down, or the original source is coming into the TV at 24 frames a second. In either case, the repeating pattern of two, three, two, three frames is not gonna give you the smoothest of motion, and it's especially visible during slow panning movements. This visible jerkiness caused by an uneven distribution of frame is called judder. Now I'm gonna go through the same example, but on a display with 120 hertz. Here we are with our 24 frames per second source video, and we're gonna start again with our same four frames. But now, instead of trying to fit these four frames into 10 frames, we're actually gonna to try to fit them into 20 frames. Now you may have noticed something different between 60 hertz and 120 hertz, and that is that 24 can fit equally in to 120. Now having these four frames of 24 frames a second being equally distributed amongst 120 hertz frame rate, you're gonna see that we're not gonna get that same problem we had with 60 hertz, which is judder. We're gonna get something else, which is called stutter. This type of pull down is called 5-5. The natural result of seeing five frames in a row causes the stuttering of the movement. Some TVs will have a lower response time, which means it's a slower transition between frames with less hold on static frames, causing a higher degree of frame blending, which can make the images appear smoother. Some TVs will offer a mode for 24 frames per second viewing or different frame blending filters. Often these features make movies appear like a soap opera. So definitely some TV features attempting to simulate a theater experience are more successful than others. Thanks for watching the short excerpt from the slide presentation. To gain access to all of the training material, go ahead and enroll now.